Right, welcome back everyone, we're back in. I'm just going to look around this bloody shop. There's going to be another... Oh no, it's a... Trinket collection. Do you know what, I keep thinking I'm forgetting something here. I don't know Talk what to that Linda. Is, but it looks painful. Well, I'm not talking to Linda just yet. I'm going to have a little look around. That's one of the Aww. killers masking it. Cute bunny. Dead by daylight. We are document, document. Mr. Olsen, this letter will serve. This before had some lousy luck. A letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Ned Knacks. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wants to extend their sympathies to your recent head hardships. If there is any lesson to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Seda Hills will give you some distance uh, from the bereavement. After all, time is great healer and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Oh, all that over a cat. I thought someone serious would have died. A dog, maybe. But a cat. Oh, they're all, they're all things cats are. Oof. But if you harm a dog, that's where I draw the line. Can we have a little chin wag with him. I always forget how to say his name. Oh, can't even talk Let's to say him. hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Hmm. Gotta be another way into the mill. I was gonna say, well, we we're gonna to sneak to into the mill, aren't we? we? Have to. And his shit are gonna go down. Ooh. Crows? You know what? I thought it were them two women there. Surely there's pretty something mannequins. that can help us amongst all this junk. <laughs> there was something I could interact with there, wasn't there? Or did I just see something? It must have been me. Because all it is is to look at the crow, got you. Uh, I'll talk to you in a minute, Linda. All right, maybe I can't. You just... I can't move. Jeez. Yeah, right, yeah, because it advanced it with that X symbol. Check down this aisle. Oh, I can fast walk, good. Oh, anything there? No. Smelly face, pick up the smelly face. TV. Who would want to watch this creep fest? I wonder if anything happens if you stare at it long enough. Can't be asked to stay there and wait to find out, I'm being honest with you. I wonder if it's the uh, mansion creeper. Okay, what's that intensifying for the music? Something on the telly? Move you knob. I think I missed something on the TV now with the music kicking in like that. 
Oh, another one of them. Dead by Daylight Killers, the Trapper. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Might be really comfortable, you never know. Right, I wonder if we can look behind the counter. Let me open it. Nope. Right, there was a door around here, wasn't there? It's probably locked, but... Make sure. Yeah. Alright, so it's Linda now. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. It was the camera all yes. along, it was cursed. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's pretty old. It looks not the same exactly as the one we what broke. We had in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. It's reasonable. Come on, we're not we're not assholes. I know she is, but I'm not going to be the arsehole. No chance. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a Let's camera. The sh oh, it was no trouble at all. Yeah, it truly is there. such a joy to see young people so choice passionate made about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Yeah, I feel right not to do her over there. She would have known, Wait, I think. guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? I never put any money in my socks. Who'd do that? Cursed movies? Really? Must be a Being slow movie. the most persistent of which is that the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean will never fail to obscure a strange rolling fog in the desert background. Desert background. Perhaps there really was something lurking in the desert, waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film star for its own twisted... Ma... Machina... Ma machina... I, I piss off, I can't read. I'm special. You already know that. A long lineage of movies. Oh. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Her movie is going to be the last record so of the year. Say hello to new face. Move fast to secure your place today. I still want to know why uh, in the mill it was shot, kept showing the... Um, It sees like whatever it's called. I was confused by that. Where is it? Thank you. I will take that. Just want to double check and open this trinket box. I could so find a place for these in murder mill. Pull them, they go if bang. we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. But they can't be that much, can they? Oh, 
missing person inside. Yep. Another missing kid. I hope they're Stay there, game, Jesus. Benny Barker. Uh, Benny Baker. Benny Barker, but yeah. Brown, eyes brown, height four foot six. Uh, if you can identify this missing youth, please call Sader Hills Sheriffs. Oh, what's Fear Trap? We can play it. What do we do? Oh, it's like... Get these too quick. Got him. <gasps> I know they ruined my life. You. Can't be asked. We had a bit of fun with it. Let's double check, I'm not missing anything there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. Wait, how would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. It's going to be Samsung, is it? So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so... Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. <sighs> Man. He's behind ya. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh yeah, uh, let me just get my bag. You got something to say, Sam? Come on. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. Just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Bro. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. You spend enough time in my line of work, 
You realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Mate, are we going to get his son killed? <gasps> Is that what it's going to come down hey, to? Hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Oh, Augustine again. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. Oh, is it her? A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. I should have pretty really haggled her now. wouldn't suffer for their art. So it was like a ritual sort of thing in the camera to awaken Frank Stone. Cheeky bitch. These walls have eyes. We're back in 2024. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bad dream. Bad dream. Ugh. How long was I out? I I don't even remember falling asleep. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So, all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. What's so this thing? If August can we, get down there, can we sit down to see it, man? It. I'm intrigued now. <laughs> She's gonna have to pay up. I want to watch this movie. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well... First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> I 
Hmm. Sod it. Let's go rooting. I'm intrigued myself. Like, she's give us no indication of like, who, who she actually is, is she? Just got what a random invite for? to come to somebody gaff. <laughs> so, intrigue. That's got the better of me. I don't care, man. I'm, I want to I wanna have a look around. Now, this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. Augustine Lieber, a lead collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. Oh, I thought she might stay behind. I was about to say, so if I chose not to go spent? around, would I be? Not much. With Madison, but the night's well, she's following us now, so not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. I thought when I gave him that choice, it would have given me like this place split us up in twos. That will two of us go somewhere. Location. But no, she came up. She came with us anyway. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. Which so I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know. Who also got me the blaze. Ah, uh, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further. I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um... Well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or...? Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know oh, that? Oh, Bonnie. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago whole other lifetime her younger brother jaime was one of my closest friends uncle jaime i am um, i never met him i hadn't heard that bunny had passed yeah it was pretty sudden wow maddie that's it's quite sad very touching but he killed joy stannis Or comfort. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. Oh. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Well, you're going to sell us now, aren't you, Stan, mate? I don't suppose you'd like to... Can't leave you out, can we? Of course! You're pissing top knot. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? 
I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. What an absolute yogurt pot. I won't mind if he dies, I'll be honest with you. I might try and save everyone else, but if it comes to choosing him, you know, I could fail a QTE just for a bit of a laugh. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Wow. Powerful resemblance. That's not weird at all, is it? Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. And I wonder what's behind that door. Oh! And that is uh, a Frank Stone, trash. Yeah. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. Doesn't like the title I hero. Better book than this. In 463, Kushik it was a local sheriff of Cedar Hills. A sleepy organ, sleepy town. A sleepy organ steel town. Just a regular blue collar Joe doing his dear darn darndest, darnest to make life a little safer for the folks who put the trust in him. But Cedar Hills was hiding a silent menace, a merciless monster preying on the unsuspecting citizens Kusich had sworn to protect. When the bodies started piling up, the only thing left was an everyday hero to step up this issue out it. Account of how Cedar Hills, first and only serial killer, was brought to justice, told first hand by the man who dared look evil in the eye and pull the trigger. Lloyd, it wasn't even him, it was pissing Sam on it. Oh no, I'm gone. I'll go on, I'll go on back that, because he did say he's deputy, so he is, he is, he is, he is saying Sam and this. That fateful night, I sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. At my first choice, the flat foot was from out of state and uh, a little green for my liking. But all I had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew that wasn't that, that was it. Tommy, he did, he did pull through. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself, and there was Stone, standing on the platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his death grip. I am not afraid to admit I was scared, I only had a moment to act before all was lost, so I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer that my aim would strike true. See, he's Billy bullshitting. What an ass wipe. Stone's corp... Uh, I bet Sam's not even bothered, to be fair, was he? Stone's corpse wasn't even uh, before a whole bunch of out-of-town had descended. Wasn't even cold, sorry, before a whole bunch of out-of-town had descended on the Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubber knackers, you name it. Uh, more than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Sire said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand how the, that he acted alone, sort of my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this: one monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Well, you saw him dead, mate, because uh, Sam shot him and he fell on Tim's backs. You did absolute naff all. What would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls. Looks like it opens with a key. Who stand? Not in a million years. It's Snape. No way. <laughs> Windows open. Mate, this looks nothing like the UK. I'll be honest with you. Can we go upstairs before talking to Augustine her? Augustine has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. Alright, let's have a chinwag. You sure would get a kick out of this place? And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't. I could hear you. I was talking to my mom, to Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. 
Uh, by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Nostalgic, come on. It's a mum at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. We get a flashback, we get a flashback. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking guitar. sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. What is it for you Americans playing music in your, in your so garage, in as you'd say? Themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. We got another person. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, it's Frank. out there! Concerned. If someone else did find out this deal is going down, they might be after the film strips. A healthy competition does make for better offers. My guess is that if they're all dressed in black and prowling around the place like a thief, they're not here to make an offer. Maybe they just want to make a dramatic entrance. I'm so one person. Augustine, they might be dangerous. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were going to have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Where he is, Rocky. Oi, oi. He looked a bit old manish. Do you think? Sam? <gasps> the Phantom of Cedar Steel. Nah, it can't be Sam. I'm, I'm, you've got to assume Sam's dead with how old Linda is taking them so long. in 2024. I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. Or it could be his son. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all head. twisted up about their punctuality. Who were you talking to as Chris before? You find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. 
Kopieren, kopieren. Hey, Red Hot Time! Time to get cooking! What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking now. gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <clears throat> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I aim to please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> this is amazing. I'm I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Who's the woman? Is that Augustine? Uneasy. We're uneasy about this now. Come on. Stone's Be sensible. For real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. You're missing the point, Chris. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? Jaime, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris? Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Obviously. Rob and I are gonna look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. And I'm gonna go make this thing any way I have to. She's a bit too obsessive, isn't she? It worries me even being honest with you, man. It's a bit weird. Journalists sure can't get enough Frank Stone. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations sure no in the mill sad to see it go. with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's gotta be something we haven't Quick found skin yet. read, you can Definitely pause it and read it for yourselves if you want. Find it. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Tom Holt interview. Here, look at this. Oh, Tom was the uh, guard. No projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank. No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill. 
not at the mill, but like people oh, who worked that there progresses it. laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murders started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple I articles. I can't believe like mom's it. finally getting That's out. That's what called home Sunday. But if it doesn't mention Frank. I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert. Oh, I thought the trinket thing was on top of the edge. That's to put the tape in, isn't it, to uh, listen over the recording. Oracle of the Universe. Do you feel trapped? I pulled some of these today too. What's that? Obituaries from around the hinting time at something for our future. And a little bit like more. Supermassive always do with Good certain thing. things, don't they? An omni -verse. Another skin read. Far out. I'll check the door and then I'll put the tape in. But claiming there are multiple versions of people and objects across different realities. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that night. Before or since. And don't reckon I ever will again. Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well... There'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. So is that it? Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Ah, oh, Tom died. What about his dog? Merlin, was he called, wasn't he? Oh, talk to Linda. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. No, but Frank Stone won't make it weird. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Take a look. Mate, I'm being a realist. I came up with a new scene to shoot. Did she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris... Like if someone asked me to I told Chris do a about film and a place where well, someone been buddies and murdering me. people, I'd well, say... shoot it if we have time. Cool. Absolutely not do one. This furnace chamber location is perfect. But I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. I mean, we're not going to talk rad. out of it, aren't we? So we have time to shoot it. What's the point of Thanks. fighting it? Me too. Oh, yes. Huh? What is? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders. Before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations. Kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello. What is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Yeah, and let's get chased by Frank Stone. Oh, it's going to be fun, isn't it? Can't wait.
Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Bonnie knew too much. And she had to go. That's why her mum died. That's why Bonnie snuffed it. She probably had more involvement than what we knew. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the myth. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. You wouldn't even bother, would it. you? You'd be more concerned about bloody That's why it's homeless secret. people or something in there? Squatters? Like kiss my swingers? No chance, man. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Yeah, let's oh, go. Careful. Why not? Jeez. First steps a doozy. All right. This way. And now back is Chris. Find the entrance to the storm drain. Well, let's just have a little look behind us. So we're not missing any collectibles or out. Can't be too careful. Breathe in. Right. I can't believe we're going to see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking wild. I was going to say, is that okay. going to be a QTE to, to run across these be uh, beams here? Yeah. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in. But it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad. But it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? We'll go quick, man. We can, we can avoid the patrol. Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay. We just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. <laughs> Ooh, that right in your, in your shins. The way you slander on that there. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Huh. I used to think it was weird, but... Ooh, I have to go around there. It's kind of his thing. Growing up... Nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Grab this trinket, if you don't mind. Cool title, though. Oh, I missed the chat. Of a daughter ring. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? Linda, I'm sorry, but you get out my ass. We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. Oh, not a so advance. Hang on, what's down here then? Stuck. Oh, we'll just get to this point here where, where the patrol is. Ah, so this is the old mill entrance, is it? It's my dad. Everybody, hide. there? 
He won't come back this way again. Let's go. Oh my god, it's not even that high. Jesus Christ. I was expecting to cross a massive, tall bridge. If you fall, then you get a bit wet, that's it. Right, are we in? This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. There was a light there, you can't get to it though. On me toes, on me toes, let's go. Right, can't go down there. Oh, we're going through the sewers, nice. That's where the furnace was, wasn't it? Through the sewers, we went down with um, Are Sam. You absolutely sure. This is safe, and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades. I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Ha! Uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, uh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit. Bottle opener, sunscreen, right, Rob. collapsible Jesus. cookware, and sunscreen. What's sunscreen for? <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> that looked good for a minute there, didn't it? Graphically wise, was that long shot? I thought we did anyway. Being watched, being watched, man. At least someone else is leading. Which is a good thing. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad this about way, that This way, follow Traveller. Night. The night he was here? Beware the... the <sighs> night Watchman. One time. When I was little, and he was really drunk. Where are the other two? Even though he doesn't remember, kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Oh. Go through here. Let's go off the beaten path. Let's see if we can have a little look around see what we find. Another killer teddy. Who would have left this here? The Wraith. Well kept bottle that in it, whatever it was. Ah, my trinket box. Oh, can climb in there now. As I was going to say, he didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night, real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Right, I'm gone, Robert, mate. I'm going to go back, jump through there. open it is okay big open space I'm not sure about Linda's new scene but if I pull the director card she'll probably never talk to me again right, we can open that let's have a look here first huh, oh a little key. rusty key the casting shed. Oh, so good job we came in. Pick someone up there. We could. Uh... Back to Robert. Yeah, hang on. Can we open this door with that key or something? 
locked. But we do have a key, though. <laughs> you absolute knobhead. I just shit myself then. What's he doing here right behind me? Give me a goddamn heart attack. We... Oh, yes. Right. Still can't use it like he used to. Where are the other two Probably assholes? Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off based right, on the look, we're not this. In the, mill. the furnished chamber, no. actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. A dog what eating human, hu human remains. Up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. Hold that thought, Robert, mate. Hold but that I'm thought. I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. I wonder if that's the door where we went to that big room. Surely there must be something here, then why be able to squeeze through? I don't get how that has come this way, I mean, there's only the door here. Wonder if it's later on we're running from Frank Stone inside this bloody sewer bit, like a maze. I love how the other two are just not even following us. There's the ladder. Ah. So we're here. His hat no never got way. picked up. Is this? Wow. Like that wouldn't have happened. I man. think that could actually be my dad's. Yeah. Because I thought, it, it, realistically, it would all be bloody search, wouldn't it? Up and down, top to bottom. But saying that, this uh, sheriff was a bit incompetent, wasn't he? What can we look at there? A hammer? Missing hammer? By the shape of it, I can see the claw at the back there. Have a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think Let's I go have? this way. Nothing. Come on, so, Robert, mate. I'm coming. Like I was saying, I'm coming, Robert. What makes you Move. Think I have. I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No Ooh, way. down here. <gasps> As I've that. been saying, no way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted that. to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off. I think this is it. Up there. Last chance to turn back. Well, before we do that. Oh. There's Linda.
thought we were going to get led out to uh, the actual mill. Like, no, not the, the furnace room, sorry. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Oh, this for one scene. Bloody hell, fire. You just won't bother. You'd find somewhere like decorate it in the background, wouldn't you? Just to make it look like it. I was saying that. Kids, man, kids. They never learn, do they? Here we go. And cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. So we broke in just to shoot one scene in this open area here. I thought she wanted to shoot a scene in the furnace area. Oh, doing Robert like that, that's a bit harsh. We have one more scene. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Furnace room. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. <clears throat> huh? So who is watching Yo. us? Augustine Dragon. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Oh, she disguised as the old woman who stole us the camera. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Oh, it's Bonnie. <laughs> So Bonnie gotcha. was here. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know. Don't tell and, Bonnie uh, what to do. And I like that's Bonnie. all I'm good for. Uh. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh, <clears throat> Linda? Relaxed. Bonnie sound. Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business. Because that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just going to stand around or are we going to make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do and I don't work well with distractions on my set. Oh, I think shut you up, mean Chris. our set. Tell him, Bonnie, love, tell him. Right, let's go have a little look out here. I'm intrigued, man, I'm intrigued to find the door to the furnace chamber. I know, but you know. Oh, you see what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? Need something to open the door with. Ooh. Ah. Oh, 
I know nothing's here, I just want to look. It'd be nice if we try to open one of these doors and the handle comes off. So we can use it on that door to get the bloody drink out. That's where we got the crowbar from. Go see if we haven't got anything to open that for the trinket. And go. Unless we come back here. Unless I'm thinking that's our, how we get out to this area. When we go into the furnace, we come round and out of there. Maybe. Let's go have a look. Right, I'm going before we crouch underneath there. Right, that's advancing. Right, move. Yeah, we know that. Oh, the same trinket. Move. Always in me pissing way. What's the point of having these trinket boxes around? I'm missing two there though. Right, can I open this from this side? Kind of shite. Fear the future. Let's go. Here we are. Oh, that's where he got impaled, wasn't it? So we shot him. I still couldn't believe he didn't see him though when he was walking up the bloody you okay? walkway and stuff, and he was stood in the no, corner yeah. like a big armor suit it's just, or a mask. How the hell didn't you see him? This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but. Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. So can we interact with this and get it, that walkway over to us? Locked. Ow! Talk to Chris. Well, hang on. Wonder this all future shit that we're gonna do down the line. Squeeze through it, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna squeeze through here. It looks squeezable. 
Ah. Now I'm thinking now about having a dick and rushed and missed the handle somewhere that could have unstuck that door. I'm kind of thinking I've jumped the gun a bit there. Right, hang on. Let's try if it works on here. That's for this anyway. Perfect. The blightened rat. So that one that's stuck over there, the door, that must be seven, mustn't it? Because that's eight. We've got nine. Did we have nine? No, we had... No, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Ah, so I'll find out now about trinket boxes. I am missing one there. I want two, three, four. I'm missing four, five, and seven. Chris? He said, talk to Chris. Why can't I talk to pissing Chris? Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? Oh no. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. The camera's getting close to the furnace and it's going to awaken right, Frank. Off. No, don't Might do it, Linda. To save Mom and Dad. That's impossible. I Nothing forgot to look impossible. into that actually to see if we could see his burnt, the burnt face or something off the ash. Doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. Bloody hell, Linda, you're shit at shooting, aren't you? Totally. Felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, mm. but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound in Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Perfect. Perfect. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? Low smoke it was up his everything ass. we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. We've awakened Frank. Uh, We've awakened him. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. <laughs> Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. We're watching a sleeping stream before, you know, twitching that game of thing. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. 
I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? I liked it better when you were gone. Calm down, kids. Yeah, let's get them away from each other. Try and split them hey, up. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <sighs> Is he going to see something? So... Oh, maybe I, not. I just wanted to tell you... Uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still going to have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. Furnace, man, where he, where he got all the we flames, where he got pushed in, or article, fell in, sorry. The machine shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. What can you see? Oh, spirit. Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. No, that's what they want. It's, it, it's, a, it's awakening, Frank. Don't do it, kids. I'm doing it. Whoa. Ain't that something. We sucked it into the camera. So what happens when I run it all out instead of winding it? Ah, rats. What's that? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. <sighs> Dizzy. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Oh, we've kick-started something now. Shit is about to hit the Think that van. door will take us to the machine shop? Only one way to find out. Well, let's go take a look. Oh, is something going to move in there? Going to be Bonnie and uh, Linda. Oh no, it's these three. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Well, you shouldn't have, buddy. One by one. If got us in here, then should you, you fool. No Not if you're his son. Then he's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I, still I got need to old find a way to realize all the long to get that uh, to take in the middle of the night drink it the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime 
Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. Well, ain't going that way. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty Lada. weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like, uh, mate, Robert, you're boring me now. All the pins? No, no. I, mean, I don't want to sound nasty, Wait, but you no. you don't mean, like, occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Right, I'm wondering if the key is going to be around here to unlock that door to get the trinket. I, st I still think I've gone past uh, something Dead I needed end. for the uh, other Not trinket that was when I was Linda. Why is it always clowns? Eh. Uh... Make sure to check shit so I don't miss anything. Well, to be fair, there's no key there. It was just for that clown, wasn't it? Eh, uh, man, my wall. Ooh. Look, it's up there, isn't it? Ah, oh, the... Mm. I'm more annoyed I've not got the key. To be fair, my problem is I'm just sprinting around everywhere. I need to just have a little double check at things, you know what I mean? Don't rush. To be fair though, there's nothing else around there, is there? So Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just double check here where these two arseholes are. Yep, nope. But we also sent Linda and Ch -ch -ch Bonnie outside, haven't we? So. How do we get that ladder down? Well, there must be that key there to go up down and come back down here. But I never had the key, so life's a bitch. Let's go. Wait a second, guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Not very good at the job yeah, than Ali, the missing the shite. It's Especially a when it's a serial killer's now. buddy we're all pulling player, triple as duty. they say. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. She's a little bit into this, isn't she, Chris? Gotta be a way to get up there. Bit of a screw loose, man. Get rid of her by a can. Before I go, it's gonna be locked. Yep, thought so. Can we go down here underneath? 
we can. There is uh, steps. I don't want to go there just yet. I want to have a little look around the top first. open the door, right? And we follow the uh, wire. He's over there, he's looking at it now, drop it underneath the generator. Maybe there's something useful in there. The key! Freaky ass room. Let's see what Robert has found. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, before I do that, then I will now go down. And then I'll also climb and see if I can open the, um, is it the train carriage doors on the side? I mean, you can't even crawl underneath there. Let's get up here. Oh, it must be the key for that then. Right, start this generator then. The dead, dead, dead by daylight generator. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, um, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wants wasn't to keep what? him away from his missus. We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like, I don't know. Point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way then. Oh, this ain't good either way, is it? You're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. I want a few minutes alone with Chris. Impatient. Well, don't be impatient, because it might come across a bit more. You do seem to have been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend lately. And you know what she spends 80% of her time doing when we're together? Talking about how amazing her boyfriend is. <laughs> what? It's actually kind of annoying. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Yeah, no shit, shit. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Fan parts repair generator. Two. This might work with the generator. Take it then a screw. On these, around these tables here. Yes. Could help with the generator. Let's 
go start this bad boy. While holding R2 to repair the generator, skill checks will appear. Press X when the pointer passes over the success zone. Hitting the solid part adds bonus progress. Uh, progress. Missing the success zone results in failure and removes some repair. Uh, removes some repair progress. Right, got you. Oh, beautiful. It's a bit of delay on it, isn't it? I don't know why. I tried to time the delay to the to the white part. Let's not be stupid. Let's just go for the no success we can get. Beautiful. Just missed it, just missed it. That'll do. Nice job. Thanks. open this door now can we? Yep. So I wonder if we've uh, absorbed his essence or something when we were recording. Where he oh, died, yeah. Frank Stone. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. And that Augustine as well, she's a uh, Something about her. Right, I can grab that and put it somewhere. Where am I going to put it though? Door's locked. Maybe there's another way in there. Ah, up there. <sighs> right, well, before I do anything like that, let's check the shelves. Mate, you just smashed the window. It's, it's, it's abandoned, isn't it? Like, what are we doing struggling here? You could even kick that. Look at this state of the door. Probably one kick up, buddy. Break that. Or we can talk to her. I saw a key over in the office. Maybe it'll help us get into the boxcar. If we can just find a way to reach it. Nothing on the top is these. Oh, flower up here, didn't know that, didn't know that. Okay, okay, okay. Like you wouldn't fall through here. Look at the state of it. Can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. Okay, what have we here? Another trinket box. Missing three though. Like to where I got to, to be fair. Hmm. Maybe this key will open up the box cart. Cannot search any of these file cabinets. Oh, that's a trinket box. Nope. State of air. You get the key? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. She's a little obsessive there, isn't she? Like, calm down over the Frank Stone, sweetheart. Jesus Christ. She unlocks the box car. <sighs> Feel like you got eyes on us. 
up there somewhere. Nothing in the box car. Up. Still need to go up. Was that all? Was all this nit really necessary? To be fair, we could have just bloody climbed up that and hopped over, or got through the gaps. To climb on that ladder on the bloody cart. Right, we all know that something's going to fall there, don't we? I'll go first. <coughs> what the hell? Sorry. Choking. I'll go first. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Uh, no, 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 not all three at the same time, man. We're going to put too much weight on it. Got you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I mean, I've got to remember about the time of there, but mess up. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Secret spot to Frank Stone's little uh, hideout. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. It's... Is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. <sighs> nice buddy collection. This is insane. How oh, calm they are now. <laughs> oh, I love video games. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Notebook. Uh, Millwright's notebook. Cedar Steel Corporation Machine Shop Repair. Oh, it's the logbook. Nice. Who are these other people? A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No. Not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut plus fix. So that was him making his, uh, his armor or something. Parker D. No. Want to get close, feel every blow, hear their screams. Kessler E. This time make it last, better control for the next small cut to keep clean. Taste their fear. Frank Stone created a specific weapon for each of his victims because he was a bloody nutcase, that's why. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone. Alpern's son and friend murdered, say police, Monday, September 17th, 1962. Following several days of rumours and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Kushich, whatever, how you say it, last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhern and Joyce Barton uh, at Horline Point last Thursday night as a double murder. George Calhern, 28, son of Seder Hill's res rep respected drugstore property yeah. William Calhoun ah so if we went to the drugstore we would have saw William I assume with a camera and his friend Joyce Barton died after their car crashed and caught fire deputies had been working tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr Calhoun's car was parked when it left the road indicating the involvement of a third party the news of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock to offer us all coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay but as in that episode, uh, when Miss Clay's nephew Elvin was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Kushich, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Hmm. But I'd be surprised if it was a nephew at all. Oh, fuck! What is it? It's a head. Oh. Damn! 
think she was one of Stone's victims. They never found her. They never found her. I think you definitely need to inform the Pope when you get I out of here. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris. I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You wanna fuck with that? M but the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. She's all of a sudden acting a bit like. Don't touch anything else, okay? Not weird a bit because she wants now she wants the girl to get out of here. But at the time she wasn't asked. We should get the hell out of here. At this time she's not asked to be fair. We gotta go. Why is she looking like For some reason man, I'm getting a bit of weird vibes off her. I don't know why. Oh, she stole a hand. The weird cow. Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. Shocked. Hey, whoa, what the fuck? You can't move that. Yo, chill out, man. I'll put it back before the sheriff gets here. I'm just going to get one quick shot first. Uh, sure, yeah. Can't miss an opportunity to exploit Frank Stone's actual victims for your movie. We're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. Can't seem to get a second alone. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Hi, May. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. Hmm. Okay, just, just just get out of there first. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that. That's my first know. thought with all this, man. Thank you. Yeah. Less talking, just get the fuck out of here. You go. I'll be right there. Promise. Right, she can snuff it for our Please don't side. make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> Decide to stay together with Chris. Huh. Oh. Is there a reason I should be? You? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna absorb into the hand, the spirit, and make it come alive like the thing. Shit's going down. Maybe that's what Augustine wants. Huh? Like the, the film role to like finish the ritual to bring Frank Stone back. Right. I don't know. Yeah, just a stupid ass, right, isn't it? Messing with shit you shouldn't be messing with. Kids never piss and learn, do they, man? What's going on here? Ooh! It's Frank Skelet. 
gone. Okay, got no jaw. No jaw bone. Is she really gonna record it? Front. We ain't no pussy. Oh shit! Oh. Okay. Um, I think I. Uh, I should. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> My goal was to try and save everyone, so I thought I had to try and save her, man. What a way to go for Jaime. Nothing. Not that I can see. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. So I'm opening like and get knew. chopped off. So first death, so mommy got Jaime killed. We don't know about Chris, she went to a portal. We could have just fled now and let Chris go into the portal and they'll stay alive. But you know, at that time I thought if I would have left this, she would have died. Then you know, oh, I had to act, I had to act, I'm sorry. More fuel high me. Sorry, it's his fault, not mine. The Legion. Murder Mill. Reviewed at the second uh, feed, uh, Feedish Desires fan... Fan festival by your correspondent Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is its unskillful composition, the cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers not to scare us, the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not usual in the uh, genre and have more of less more or less become par for the course of the festival circuits uh, what was unusual however was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the 10 pm audience from the first frame and they honestly can't explain why the overall sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything i've experienced before or i'm keen to experience again the screening was merciful cut, mercifully cut short though as two Festival goers began to assault nearby audience members, audience members before turning on one another, turning what was a below-average movie-going experience into absolutely pandemonium. This reviewer could not get out of their theatre fast enough. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a trick or gimmick of some kind on the part of the filmmakers, and I'm not sure how they would even happen, uh, how that would even happen. But I'd have to imagine anyone with the mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. So a proper dog chod film. 
and that's why probably Linda dis dissociates herself from it, because it was shit. If it was good, she'd be like, oh yeah, I did that. Oh, should house in voice That's Augustine. a lot of dollar for an old movie. Damn. 10 G's. Total tax, 2024. An amount due, $12,144. So is that what she owes? Best get paying, Augustine. Ooh, we've got a key. I can't expect inspect the label though, won't let me go that around that far. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. Mmm, a secret bookcase? No, 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 no. Maybe not. No, I'm stuck. Well, to be fair, there was that many locked doors. This could be for anything. Check this. Oh, yes. I remember now, I remember. Hmm. Something's missing. Find the missing piece. I know it's the trinket box, yeah. Well, now it's open. I thought she was going to reopen it again. I've got a feeling I need to go downstairs now to try and find that. Well, that's the book, and I've read that. That's the sheriff selling his side, wasn't it? Ah. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Hmm. The tree. You're coming with me, buddy. Now, they have to put the tree into the where that figure was and then put whatever that figure was on top of the statue then opens and then in there will be the piece for the door. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking, let's go. Yes. Some kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. Well, yeah, Maddie, you catch on quick. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Okay, time to unlock that gate. Hang on. House. I just noticed the picture. Tree. And hammer. House tree hammer. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads. House and heads. Tree and a hammer. Yay! I only noticed it because that uh, that red tree on that picture stood out with the sword thumb. Then. Plus, it was a picture of three, so I thought they needed the need a uh, secret to pick up the code for it. So, Bob's your uncle, we're in. Let's see what Augustine's actually getting up to. Hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works. Think you got your wish. Uh, 
Ray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look now, around. Linda, now. Be careful. Explore the whatever you say to learn more about Augustine. Libre. 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 Dead by daylight killer. It's like a museum for I have no fucking idea what. Language. Something unearthly for sure. I'm only little. This whole place is like a film set. Hey, Linda. Check this out. These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. <laughs> There is no tomb in she the prophecy of up. pain. Oh, I. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into this stuff with with, the, with one of the Come other. Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a <sighs> kind of guy. A crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> A wager. Friendship. You don't want our friendship, does he? Why interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. That's official. You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not 12. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. I call it or no deal. Well, this All ain't right. gonna be good, is it? What's it gonna be? Tails never fails. That's my motto. Tails. <laughs> Crap. Oop. I believe we. I wonder if you always meant to win that. There's not really much to tell. I wanted a bet from a real down on his luck guy. And now he's dead. So, he's not exactly missing it. Who was he? A guy Robert. called Robbie G. That's <gasps> how I knew him. R Robert Green? Sounds right. It's going full circle, man. He was basically one foot in the grave when I met him. Poor Robert. So Bonnie's dead, Robert's dead. What happened dead. to him? From what I gathered, it sounded like he had some serious daddy issues. See, Jaime's never shut up about how his dad fucked up his life. Chris is in a portal somewhere. Anyways, there you go. It's leaving just our Linda here on a Todd. Bold of fear. Justine Jeffrey. 1960s and America is, is in crisis, eager to escape the era of political turbulence. A band of ide uh, idealists start building a new society under the guidance of their charismatic leader. Before long, their numbers swell with hundreds leaving their hardships behind to join the fold. But making a perfect world demands more than uh, affirming mantras and the positive mindset. Soon the personal troubles of the flock start to poison their paradise, and then things take a real turn for the worse. Hmm. Manifestation. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy a few hours ago, but the starlight was now suffocated. Strangled by sworn clay, storm clouds, uh, Beatri Beatrice, Beatrice could neither see nor hear where she had been followed, nor the air so full of dirt, 
driving rain. Bloody elf. As well as the crackling of the crows cutting across each other quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. Uh, never seen her so fair, so matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage, at least she couldn't hear her squelching, the slivering, the screaming. Yet still she pushed on through the roaring darkness, there was no way she could stop now. Not now, now she had a clear conjuring created. I have a quick skin read through it. Something smashing into shelter, sending her spinning, tumbling backwards into the stone, sliding down into a shallow salt water with a noisy splash. She landed with a painful cry, the sharp metallic taste of blood filled with her mouth, and she realised an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. Tried to uh, force herself back up, but her bad ankle buckled. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrix uh, reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase. But her grasping fingers were only with her shoes. She spun, sludging, crawled with men to fill her eyes. She could just miss. So dripping with mud, born. strike. Okay, my god. Wonder if that, uh, that's one of the killers in the Dead by Daylight. Like I said, you all know more than me who play it anyway. Well, that's cheery. I just want to see if I can interact with any more of these uh, art stuff. Can we open this? Is this open? Nope. Okay, it's kicking off. Damn. The rumors are true about Murder Mill. Well, they shouldn't have recorded it with that pissing camera that. St. Augustine was disguised as an old woman. The cheeky bitch. Hang on. No doors. Well, there's no lock there, is there? Oh, like a lift. Oh, it's Frank Stone's mask. Is that dried blood? But only Sam would know what he looked like, wouldn't he? Well, like the, the what he was wearing, sorry. Hang on, where's the... Uh, oh, it's here. Cheeky. I will take that, thank you very much. Super 8 camera. Hey, Linda. You should really come see. What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans contain wells of great power, can Protective take many physical circled. forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? 
keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. I wonder if Augustine's wearing one. Be Maybe interesting. It's... Oh shit. Is this like the uh, caretaker? Is it Sam? Sam, how is he still alive and kicking? A perilous place. Chapter 7. I think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh, cold. Yeah, I got something for that. Pocket warmer. No, we've got to stay sober in a time like this. Come Thanks, on. Thanks, but probably shouldn't drink on the job. You sure? Not it anyway. Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Dad. Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret unrequited reason why you might want us to go around be a bit playful and how's that any of your business bonnie rivera <laughs> look if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer it's freshly squeezed gossip why do you hate cedar hill so much you used to be like town mascot Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke down, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was definite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. You deserve better than that. Yeah, I think so too. She's after you, I think Linda. We should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. And go find Jaime, split in half. It's gonna be a nice scene to walk into, isn't it? 
second my mom comes home, it's lickety splits will for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, Last. and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure. I I'm leaving Cedar Hills. Why this trinket here again? I've already got oh. this, haven't I? Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Mix shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some. Another store's open, but it open oh, yeah? now. Mm, yeah, nope. it looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Mm. Probably the only one then. Yeah. Maybe. Double check this before I go. I know probably nothing's here now, but I just want to uh, double check now I'm someone different. And all the lights are on, you never know. Right, so we know Bonnie and Linda can't die here. And neither can Robert, because obviously Linda's still alive here, isn't she? Uh, in the future, but also Robert and T -T -T Bonnie died when they were older, so whatever's going to happen here is going to be really, really interesting. It sort of takes away the uh, sort of fear factor, the danger element, doesn't hey. it? Because we know Guys? they're not going to die. Still haven't got the key for that door. And there's somewhere where we can climb there, because the yellow thing. Double checking in, now lights on. Right, we found this before, didn't we, the clown? Oh. What a creepy want it. It's up there, wasn't it? Yeah. But still no way to access that. So we go through the door, then we find Harmay chopped up. Something dropped. Do you hear that? A little clink. Where's Bonnie? Oh, she's there. Let's go then. <gasps> oh no. Hi. Hi, man. Hi, man. No, 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 no. Oh man, that's some messy shit that isn't it. Linda, he's not he's not breathing. No, 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 no. No. Ah! How could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? Serious, serious, come on. <laughs> Bonnie. We should find out what happened from Chris and Robert. I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. Oh shit. Look! What what is it? This is this is like what Frank Stone did with his with his Oh shit! This might be some kind of copycat thing. We gotta go. No, no, I can't leave Jaime. Bonnie, we gotta go. Right now. Just get the fuck out of here, man. Run! 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 Just go! 
go, man, let's go. No, don't go that way. Yeah, I should give two little little punches and got through it. <laughs> We can't die yet because Linda's in the future, so. <laughs> Damn, so the camera repels my way. Sweet. Ah, so I can I do that in time. Of course, it's locked now. Let's double checking, double checking. So when I see the red pop up, I know to get my camera out. Interesting. Low this is a lift. So it's going to be over there through the gap. But I just want to double check. Anything else lying around? Ooh, we can go this way. This was like where we found the dog wanted eating the remains. Wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, because there's a door there. We had Tom come in and we were Sam, weren't we? We came round here and we had Merlin eating the remains through there. find what this is hooked up to. Maybe that's my way out of here. No, it's hooked up to the pissing. This is a lift. Oh my god, so I had to press X on this just to... S Bloody hell game, that's a bit shy, isn't it? I already know this, so why is it shown at me? If I can get up there, that's my way up. No, it's gonna blow up and show Frank Stone coming after us. Got him. Uh, I'm going to find a part from. I wonder if someone's going to block away and have to eventually claw through here. Because why give us two ways to go? And it is quicker just to run around, isn't it? Just want to check how long it would take me to crawl through. Just double check around here in case there's no part here. So God knows where Bonnie got off to. She's ultimately fucked because she ain't got a camera with her. So he starts chasing her. She is a goner. Oh, here. Give it me, give it me, give it me. My control was vibrating there, I thought buddy Frank was here. Oh, sugar. Oh my god, I got it wrong, quick, come on. Got it. Oh, I thought I missed. This ain't good for my stress levels, this. Come on. One more, I think, before I fill that. No sound. Right, Linda, get your arse going now. Check 
check. Man, has this got infinite batteries, man? I love that. Look at that. Two miles an hour, you love it. Shit. Oh my god, it kept bloody. Shit. I can hear it. <laughs> Come on. He's nearly gone. Fuck. No. It's coming. Oh shit. Go, Linda, go! Oh, I've got to hold it. So the camera's saving us, so... No, Augustine. 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 Okay. <laughs> it's gone. She's done it to wake Frankstone, did she not oh, save God. us? Or did she? I don't know, I, I don't know what the Bonnie. hell is going on. Because if the camera's saving us, then it sort of implies that she gave it us for a reason to help us, but then also she gave it us to awaken. That's what I'm getting out of it anyway. Oh, sugar. Same, basically, yeah. What's here then? I can pick up. Of course, a trinket, diamond cufflinks, beautiful. I can jump down from here, can't I? We should jump down here. Jump down here. Sod it. Missing three trinkets, aren't I, before I got to that one? But these could potentially be, uh can't get my camera out now. They could be in the future, couldn't they? Potentially. Well, I know definitely one, I missed one with the locked door. And there's one in the factory, it wasn't need to be fair, on top. That I didn't get the key for. Wonder if you need another playthrough or something to get it. I mean, she stood in that doorway weird, didn't she? Mystery Manor, back in 2024. Miss Castle. Sam still alive and kicking. Shocked. What the hell are you doing here? The film strip. Do you have it? <clears throat> hey, slow down. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Well, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Not making sense. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? 
You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... No. I'm sorry. You sure you saw high me? <sighs> and you were recording that ghost thing. Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? Hesitant. We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's... It's pure, malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? Foxtown. You were completely full of shit, weren't you? Oh, oh, let's not... Shut up! He can't help it, Linda. Lion's all he knows how to do. I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this! I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. You don't know, you saw Jaime slicing off. Wandering off alone right now. And you recorded a creepy skeleton ghost thing? What is she on about, Linda? Was this locked before? Right, I think that'll be a nice place to stop it there. So we got through quite a bit there, to be fair. And uh, so we now got Jaime killed. Man, I didn't mean to get him killed. I just thought my plan was to go through this playthrough first and try and save everybody. So when I saw Chris getting sucked into that portal, I thought it's certain death for her. So maybe I can fight, uh, try and uh, get to her and save her. But no, I should have fled. Then Buddy Jaime would probably still be alive. Tis what it is. So uh, next episode, we will obviously follow Stan. And now obviously Sam's still alive and kicking. I don't know how, but yeah. How old was he in 68, was it? So it'll be interesting to see. Oh, and Bonnie, obviously. Bonnie's dead and Robert's dead. So it's getting interesting. So next episode, we'll find out what it, what happens with our stand, which I'm not too fussed about if he dies, I've been honest with you. Bit of an arsehole. So anyway, thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'll see you all later.